Welcome back everybody. I hope you're all excellent. In today's video, I want to show you a lick heavily inspired by an approach used by players like Ingve Malmsteen. I refer to it as rhythmic grading. Uh, other players have different names for this technique, but essentially it's a way of playing fast licks without sounding one paced. The idea is all about breaking up your lines into different rhythmic subdivisions, meaning I want to play this little lick that is going to have some eighth note triplets and then some 16th notes and then finish off with some 16th note triplets. So what is going to be happening is not only are we going to be playing fast, we're going to be playing in time. And as the lick progresses, the subdivisions are getting finer and finer. Finer. It's like grading through sandpaper or something like that. That's why I call it rhythmic grading anyway. This is the little example lick I want to show you all today. I'll put that backing track as well as a slowed down version of it up on my Patreon. If you want to have a listen to a track where I'm using these exact examples, that's the bass line and the drum track from the Ragdoll song Love on the Run, which is one of my favorite guitar solos to play live for this reason. I play a really similar lick in it. All right, let's dive into the guts of this. I'm in standard tuning at the moment and we're in the key of A minor using the A natural minor scale. We're going to start off with some eighth note triplets. This is a great single string picking lick right here. We're starting up on the note C, so fret 13 on the B string. We're going to come down to the note A, which is fret 10 on the B string, and then we'll play fret 12 on the B. They're the first three notes. Then we'll just go C, B, A in that order. If you've listened to players like Paul Gilbert, Vinnie Moore, and Yngwie Malmsteen, you've probably heard this sequence before. <laughs> You can reach up if you like at any point in that sequence and change the top note. I'm changing it either to a D note, so fret 15 on the B string, or a G note, fret 15 on the high E. We get this as the first line. That's the first phrase I want you to practice. The next phrase, again, very much inspired by Ingve. If you listen to John Norum's first solo album as well, I think he plays this identical lick. Uh, the fingering here kind of makes it a little bit easier to play. We're starting up on that high G on fret 15, and we're just running down the scale, starting from G, and we're phrasing it in 16th notes. So we're gonna do them in chunks of four 16th notes at a time. So. All strict alternate picking, starting with a downstroke on all of these. That's the second line. Now, the challenge is going from the first line, which again, eighth note triplet phrasing, to the second line, which is built around 16th notes. One thing you could practice would be to just put a backing track on, pick a single note, like say an A note, and practice playing quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenths, and then sixteenth note triplets. Uh, that's probably harder to say than it is to actually do. It would sound something like this. So that can really help you out with the phrasing and then you can start to play the actual lines back to back. The last section of this, we are now grading up to 16th note triplets. We are going to do what a lot of people call the split sixes line. Again, a Paul Gilbert inspired line. We are gonna run from the high F note on fret 13. We're gonna run down six notes in the scale at a time. Then we'll return to the B string, go down six notes. We'll go to the G string, go down six notes. And I think we're actually gonna repeat that last line. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Then when we put them all together, we've got a really good example of this acceleration. It's not just jumping straight into the fastest rhythmic subdivision you can play. You're really easing yourself into it because those subdivisions are getting finer. You're also using rhythmic tension, which is a very underrated musical tool. So it sounds something like this. <laughs> I'll throw it into context again with the track. I'll also include a little snippet at the end of the slow down backing track because there's no reason why you can't say grade from eighth notes all the way up, say to 16th notes, 32nd notes, anywhere you wanna go with this particular line. It's all about not being one pace and it's all about getting that smooth acceleration in your playing if you are trying to improvise with these alternate picked lines. As I said earlier, if you wanna get the backing tracks and the tab, they are up on my Patreon. They are linked in the video description. If you wanna go and have a listen to the Ragdoll song, Love on the Run, it's linked in the video description. You can also check out all the other music we've made as always, Thank you all so much for checking out the video. If you have a crack at this and you want to upload it to YouTube or Instagram, please tag me. I would love to hear everybody's take on it. And as always, try to make this your own and work it in to your own style of playing. Thanks so much. I'll see you all next time.